Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn that how we can use the post method with the API. These are the points that we are going to learn. First of all, we will see why we use the post method. Then we will set up the postman for post API and uh, we will write the code for post API and we will test this API and at the last I will ask you a question also, right? In the write code, we will just make the three things. First, we will make the controller, model and routing and we will also write some code to save the data in the database, right? So yes, now let's go for the first question, why we use the post method. Post method simply means when we just want to send some data from front end to back end. For example, we just want to uh, make the sign up. In the sign up uh, procedure or task, you can see that we are just sending some user information to the front end to the back end, right? because we are just want to send the name, password, email address, address, blah, blah, things of, right? That we use the post method. And the get method, when we just want to get the data from the database, like we just want to show the list of the users, or we just want to show the list of the products, kind of things, right? So and now let's see that how we can set up the postman for the post API. So yes, guys, many, my viewers actually asking that uh, let's make a project on Laravel and let's integrate the React or Angular with the Laravel. So we will do all these things. But first of all, let's learn that how we can make the APIs and basic things, right? Because if we directly jump on the project, then may maybe we just miss the lots of things. And you just see that why this is working and why this is not working when we just directly jump on the project. So in this scenario, we are learning everything step by step. So just wait, you will also gonna pro in this Laravel. So now let's see how we can just uh, set up the uh, post API for the postman. So we will use the post method from this uh, method listing. And keep in mind when we are using the post API, that simply means we just want to send some data from front end to back end. So we need to use the body. So there is a lots of method. We can use the form data, x www data, but in a row data is very famous. Especially we use the JSON row data, right? And here you can just start with a object, put your uh, data that you just want to save. So let's say I have a three field in the database, ID, name, and member ID. So I don't want to uh, just use the ID because this is auto incremented. So I will just place the two uh names two you can say that the objects or keys name and member id so just simply write here uh, name and uh, name will be let's say mobile big because this is a basically a device name right and uh, then we can use member id member underscore id so let's say my member id can be 12 or something whatever you want and here we will make the route but uh, we did not set up the route yet so we will set up the route first then we will i will just make add the url here right so just write here controller first of all php artisan make controller and controller name can be let's say device controller hit enter oh i just C O N. Now perfect. So controller is created. Where it is created? App HTTP controllers and here. Let's uh, just add a function here. So let's say my function name is add device. So I can just simply use here add and return for a moment. Let's return here something like a result uh, success or you can say that uh, data has been saved or something, right? Mm, let me correct the bin spelling. All right. So now our function is also ready. Now let's create a path or URL or routing, whatever you want to say. So just use here app HTTP controllers and uh, a controller name, which is device controller. Right now, let's add a path. Just use your route 
and we are using the post api that's why we need to use here post and the url so url can be let's say add and uh, in the second parameter just use here device controller colon colon class and in the second parameter function name of this controller which is add right so this is done now now let's add route in our uh, postman so just simply write here uh, localhost 001 api and then add all right so this is a postman and this is our request hit it all right so let me check what's wrong with it 404 okay so i just uh, add something wrong here url is wrong now this is uh, again mm, let me check i think i just uh, something misspell okay i just need to use your controllers try again so result is here you can see that we got the result uh, result has been saved data has been saved but as we know this is uh, just a simple return value there is nothing for the save for a moment so now let's uh, create a model here so just simply write here php artisan make model and our model name is device why because our table name is devices here you can check that right so now let's go for this uh, model and uh, because we don't have the created and updated at columns so we can just make this timestamp false so just use here public dollar stamps is false right and uh, now import our your uh, device model here so just use here app models device and uh, just simply write here dollar device is new device right and because we are just getting the data from the postman that's why we need to add here dollar request so that we can get the request and this variable will be the type of request here we are using this class for the request right so now just use your dollar device and this device table have the two columns uh, three columns actually id name and member id but id is actually auto incremented so we will use the name and device id here so simply put here name and it will be dollar request and name and request arrow name will be come from here right we have a name and member id also so now let's use here member id also like this just right here dollar device save right and this save method will save the data in the database so what we can just do it let's save this uh, data save in a result and uh, we will check that if dollar result is true and then it can just simply return here like this else we can still return something but here we will just return here operation failed or something right operation oh my god operation failed or something now let's hit it and you can see the data is saved so our data should be in the database like mobile with the member id 12 so let's check it out here and here you can see that this the id is auto, auto incremented mobile is our name and id is 12 so let's try once again now we can use here ipod 3 and member id will be like 20 or something right 
enter it that i saved again and uh, we got this right on a 10th uh, id so that's all about the how we can use the post api so in the next video we will learn that how we can uh, use the put api and uh, then we will learn the uh, delete api after that search api how we can just manage the exception handling and there's a lots of thing that will be coming in the next upcoming videos so don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care god bless you